This is the Revo Point Mini. It's the handheld 3D scanner that you could own for just under $800. And today, I'm going to review it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with these devices, 3D scanners allow you to scan physical objects and bring them into your software as a 3D model. This technology has come a long way, and I'd like to see how the Revo Point does. Why don't we go ahead and see what you get in the box. So you get your instruction manual, USB cables, and a USB adapter. Also included in the package is this handle that extends and doubles as a tripod. You also get this adapter that holds your phone as well as the scanner. Of course there's the scanner itself. You get blue tack which is like two-sided tape except it's reusable and temporary. You get a bunch of target dots. This is a calibration card. And also included is this black material that can be used as a backdrop. Finally, they include this bust, which is for test scanning. And now let's go ahead and see what comes in the turntable. USB cable. The turntable. This is a sticky pad that goes on top of the turntable. And this is a large surface that you put together. And that is what comes inside the box. Setting up your Revoport Mini is surprisingly simple. Let's start with the turntable. On the side of the turntable, there's a USB port. We go ahead and take our USB cable, plug it right in, and this end goes right into a power supply. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our sticky pad. We're gonna put this right on top of our turntable. And then we're going to take our surface and snap it together. These snap together just like so, and you want to line them up so the middle creates a triangle. Now you place this on top, and it gives us our large scanning surface. For the scanner itself, you'll see there's also a port on the, so on the rear of it. We're going to go ahead and take our cable that's provided, plug it right into the back, and there are screws on this which prevent it from coming loose when you're doing your scanning. This side of the cable you're going to plug right into your PC or Mac or whatever device you're using to do your scanning. Let's go ahead and set down our test scan object and you're ready to scan. Next let's install the software that we need for the scanner. Go on over to revopoint3d.com forward slash download and get RevoScan and Revo Studio and install both of those on your computer. So when scanning, we want to make sure the scanner is the right distance from our subject. The software will tell you if it is or if it's too far or too close. Let's go ahead and hit scan and we're going to set up some options. Accuracy will be high, scan mode is features, no texture and no accessories. I'm also going to set the RGB camera brightness to manual and turn it up to 50, as well as the depth camera brightness to 2. With a little trial and error, you can figure out the best settings on these for your particular scan. So let's hit the play button to start our scan. We'll get a 3, 2, 1 countdown, and the scan starts. If you watch in the lower right hand corner, you'll see the scanner actually scanning the object, and on the left, you'll see the scan coming to life in real time in the scanning software. While the model rotates, the scanner picks up geometry and details, gradually building the 3D version of your physical object. You should allow the scanner to make several passes on your object. For the purposes of this demo, we'll do two rotations and see what we get. But you can experiment with this to figure out what yields the best results for your scan. Once the scan is complete, the software will fuse the object into a point cloud. I'll speed this part up but for this scan, it took just under a minute for the point cloud to be fused completely. Now let's export what we have so we can bring it into Revo Studio so we can create our final OBJ model. 
So now let's import our point cloud. There are several tools across the top of the window we can use to get the best results in our final mesh. First, we're going to use the smooth tool. I'm going to set the level to high and click apply. This noticeably smooths out our point cloud, which will help get us a better end result. Next, I'm going to use the isolation tool. Let's set this to high and click detect. Notice the red dots. These are points that are too far isolated from the rest and should be deleted. Finally, I'm going to use the overlap tool. This tool allows you to detect and delete any points that overlap each other. Deleting these will help avoid issues in your final mesh. Now let's create our mesh. I'm going to select fill holes and set the level to excellent, click apply and the mesh will be generated. So now all that's left to do is to export our mesh as an OBJ so we can import it into our 3D software. For the next part, I'll be using Blender to show you the final result. As you can see, the final mesh looks pretty good. The scanner did a great job of capturing the overall shape as well as the details. I only did some minor tweaking using Blender's sculpting tool to smooth out some of the rough spots. Creating something like this without scanning would certainly be a lot more work. So I really like the Revo Point Mini. It's a great little 3D scanner that allows you to bring really complex objects into your projects that would nearly be impossible to do by hand. The price point is great, and I'm really excited to see where this company takes this technology. If you liked the video, subscribe, and look out for more videos on RenderHub Unboxed. Thank <laughs> you.